site is on the Wake County side of what is now Falls of the Noose Reservoir. Fish Dam Road was a footpath used by Indians. This Indian footpath was an efficient way to go from a village on the Noose River to uh, an Indian village that was on the Eno River near present-day Hillsboro, North Carolina. That road was um, documented by our students during our, our NCSSM's mini term during uh, 2003 and 2004. In the fall of 2005, we had a significant drought here in Durham. I walked out into the lake bed right where our students had uh, figured out where the road was, where the road entered the reservoir, and lo and behold, the ground was littered with all these uh, rocks and bricks. So I knew that we had the foundations of buildings there. Unfortunately, at that time, it started raining and the reservoir filled up and all the ruins were inaccessible again. The current drought that we're in right now has dropped the lake levels enough to where we can now see archaeological evidence of what is likely a past European colonial settlement right on the side of Fish Dam Road. It could be that we have a significant archaeological find here of one of the first European settlements in this area. Well, what we're doing today is we're collecting a lot of different objects that are on the surface of the excavation. Right now, tell what it was, or mm -hmm. you can see the rust like that, and that's a pretty good indication of it. Um, they divide it up, as you can see, into squares. Each student goes into a square and picks up any objects that he might see, glass or metal or pottery. We put it in a brown paper bag and they collect all the paper bags and they have like a grid and everything's like mapped out on this grid, how much is found where and how dense it is. And that kind of shows them where things, you know, might have once been. In 81, the water started backing up from a dam that they built way down there. And has the historical research that's been done by Joe Lyles and um, some of the other folks that have come out to talk with us here, they suspect that it dates to the early 1800s. Um, we have not found anything yet that contradicts that. I haven't had a chance to do any of the background research that um, I typically would do before I come out onto a site, um, but I would guess at this point that we've got some kind of a main house or structure uh, just over my shoulder here, uh, and then some ancillary buildings that wouldn't be uncommon in uh, any kind of a plantation or even a small-scale farmstead. I think that's what it is. <laughs> well, today I found a lot of iron in this square. It appears that this area was where they made, you know, iron tools and things like that. And over there I found things like um, ceramics and iron pieces and stuff like that. I found these two nails, but they looked like they could be modern. And this is rock um, that's very, really old, and uh, the pottery seems to be more um, up to date with what we're looking at. All of the artifacts that the students help us collect out here are going to be taken back to one of our labs and uh, processed, cleaned, and then analyzed and cataloged. Um, at that point, we'll generate data tables that'll get sent back to me um, so I can produce my, my compliance report at the end are going to be put into storage containers and brought back to North Carolina where they'll be stored at the um, repository in Raleigh. It's been really interesting. I found a lot of interesting stuff and it's pretty neat to imagine what it was like a couple hundred years ago. Oh, it's great for uh, students to come out and uh, enjoy the site uh, or get to see archaeology. Uh, one of my first experiences with archaeology was as a student, um, actually in elementary school, so uh, I think it's great for them to get to come out. It's been really fun and interesting because I never knew what an archaeologist did. 
It's, it's a really awesome experience just getting to help the professionals uncover evidence of this area's past and the ancient peoples that used to live here. It is so freaking hot. <laughs>